Today we're going to talk about trimming, grading, clipping, and notching seams after you sew them, and we're also going to use convex and concave seams. Convex seams are those seams that curve outward, and concave seams are those seams that curve inward. You have an assignment sheet that gives you step-by-step -step directions and also an evaluation at the bottom. And you also, in today's lesson, have a PowerPoint on trimming, clipping, grading, and notching seams that will give you more definitions. So you have your assignment, look at the PowerPoint. Then you have an assignment sheet for convex and concave patterns. And these also have grain lines that we're going to follow. What you want to do is cut down your pattern and take your eight inch strip of fabric and place your pattern on the fabric with the grain lines parallel to the selvage. My selvage is down here. The easiest way to do that is to take your eight inch strip of fabric that you have and fold it in half with your green line and line up your pattern pieces like so. Then you will cut out those pattern pieces on the cutting lines. Okay, so these have been cut out. It's a double thickness because you're going to sew the two of them together. Then you are going to sew a 5 8 inch seam on the curved edge. Remember to backstitch at the beginning and end to hold the seam together. Okay, so 5 eighths of an inch to sew the two pieces together. The next thing you're going to want to do is to trim and grade the two seams. Trimming means to cut off part of the seam allowance. Frequently they say 3 eighths of an inch, but about half should give you a good idea and grading is to cut your seam allowances to different widths to remove the bulk. Both of these will remove the bulk, but especially when you have thicker fabrics, you need to remove a little bit more bulk. So if you take a look at this, you can see, although it's a little bit hard, you can see right here that this has been graded and trimmed. Both of these have been graded and trimmed. And what I'll do is show you how to do this. So we'll take this pattern piece, and I used a green piece, and you, I always find it easier to do the grading first because you're going to make that a little bit narrower, about a quarter of an inch. So I'm just going to cut my seam allowance off, like so. And I think you can see that there's two different widths there. And then you go back and you trim down the rest of the seam allowance, the other side. So you get two different widths. This helps to re remove some of the bulk. Sometimes you might not notice it with a cotton fabric, but with thicker fabrics, you would notice it. So there's your concave seam. And you do the same thing with the convex seam like so. And I used a small pair of shears, but actually your bigger shears will work just as well. So you can see that that one's been graded down to about a quarter of an inch, and then I'm going to trim down the other seam allowance and leave that a little bit larger. I think you can see that. And then the next thing that you want to do is to clip or notch your seam allowances. And clipping is to make small snips into the concave, that's this one, the concave seam allowance, and that allows it to open up. And notching, and you can see little triangles cut out of the con vex seam that removes some of the bulk so what i'll do now is take a look at these two and first of all we want to make sure that this can open up and if you see it's kind of pulling 
So we're just going to snip into the seam. And once again, if you're afraid you're going to clip into your seam, sewing seam, you can put a pin there, but you just want to put straight down. And basically what this will do is allow that seam to open up and lay flat. Okay, so you can see some of those right in there. And those are just snips, and you don't want to do them too close together. About a half an inch is close enough. Sometimes people clip so much that it gets very feathery. That kind of weakens your seam. But what happens when you turn this over? By doing that, when you actually go to press this down, it allows that seam to turn over like that. If you hadn't done that, this one's been graded but not clipped, it tends to pull. See, it's, it, it's puckering quite a bit, it tends to pull. The notching is cutting out small triangles, once again, not too close, and this removes some of the bulk from your seam allowance. I'm just going to put a couple in here so that you can see it. Once again, if you're afraid of going through the seam, you can put a pin there. And there's your notches. And once again, it will take out some of the bulk when you turn this in there because that whole seam would be in there. So this needs to be pressed, but you can kind of see that it lets it lie a little bit flatter. If we hadn't done that, what you find out is that there's a lot of fabric in there. You can kind of see a lot of fabric. So that's trimming, grading, clipping, and notching. The last step to that would actually be the pressing. So what you want to remember to do on your evaluation sheet is sew a 5 8 inch seam, and you only want to end up with the finished product. You don't have to do all the steps that I just showed you. I just showed you step by step. You just end up with the finished product. Um, grade your seam, which means you're cutting both of those seam allowances. You're going to trim and grade. When you say grade, you mean both. You want to clip and notch. Clip the concave seam that goes in and notch the convex. And then the last step on here says to press. I'm not asking you to press. I'm suggesting that you just turn it in like this on your assignment sheet today um, because I can't see it if you press it to the right side. So we won't worry about that today, but pressing would be an important step. And we're done for today.